In past videos, we've talked about basic social skills, from how to win friends and influence people. To recap, we learned the importance of becoming interested in others, to make them feel important, also to speak in terms of their interest, and to always remember their name. And those are very good things to know, but I get a lot of people saying, yeah, I can be interested in others and remember their name, but how do I create a deep conversation with someone? How do I make a good connection with another person? For instance, let's say that you're talking to someone that is from out of state, for example. If you follow how to win friends and influence people, you might become interested in them. So you try to find out things about them. But there's a mistake I see a lot of people make. A lot of people go on interview mode. For example, you want to become interested on someone, so you start asking a lot of questions. Like, where are you from? What do you do? How long was your flight here? And you start putting a lot of pressure on the other person. They don't know you, so they feel interrogated, and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Also, when they respond and you say things like, okay, cool, I didn't know this about you, or nice, know that you're putting a dead stop to that conversation. One really good way to avoid this is to use the format statement, question, statement. For example, instead of asking, where are you from? In which you're just going to get a one word answer, Oregon, try this. You know, you seem from out of town. Statement. Where are you from? Question. Oregon. You know, I've never been to Oregon, but I hear people are super nice there. Statement. Now you just turned a simple generic question into a more enjoyable conversation. Plus, you're not putting too much pressure on them. You just seem like a very social person. Once you've done that, you're ready to take it to the next level. This is what I called information versus emotion. And I see a lot of people starting conversations and then getting stuck chasing information. For example, when you ask questions like, how long was your flight here? Five hours. There's no real meaning to the answer. It's just information. But when you ask questions like, what is your favorite thing about traveling? Or if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Here you're diving into what the other person likes or doesn't like. When you ask these type of questions, the answers aren't just meaningless data. They are actually telling you their emotional experiences, how they liked and felt about something. And these are just two tips to start building a deeper conversation with other people. Alright guys, hope this little video was helpful. It was definitely useful when I started using these ideas and it did help me build a really good social circle. So they hopefully do the same for you. And since I had a lot of you guys asking questions about this subject, I'm actually going to be making a lot more videos when it comes to this topic. So if you have a friend or anybody that might benefit from this, help them out, share it with them, and subscribe to keep learning more ideas.